What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the fifth developer of Beta 5 for iOS 17. Let's go, we got a pretty big update to talk about. First thing is inside of settings, if we were to go to accessibility, you're gonna see a brand new glyph icon from voice control. Here's what it looks like before, and yeah, it looks a lot nicer. The next thing is inside of accessibility and scrolling all the way down, you get to see that we have a brand new icon for assistive access. Before it would show an accessibility icon instead of this assistive access icon. And while you're, we're in here, you're gonna see that Siri has been moved down into general right here. Before I believe it was in hearing, I'm not 100% sure on that. Now the next thing is that we have a brand new icon for our flashlight right here. So you're gonna see it's brand new, looks really nice, a lot more modern, and it looks a little bit thicker, which I really like that a lot. It's not as skinny as it was before, and looks a lot more detailed. Now the next thing is inside of our settings. If we were to go into our general and then iPhone storage and scroll all the way down, press show all, scroll all the way down, you're gonna see a thing that says synced content. Now what I believe this is, is if you are using your phone as a flash drive or something, this will be filling up. I don't think this was here before, or it could only be showing up if you were using your phone as a flash drive. I'm not 100% sure on that. If you'd like to learn how to make your phone into a flash drive, you can click this video up here. Now the next thing is inside of privacy and security. If we were to go into location services, scroll all the way down to system services, you're gonna see that we have a couple of brand new toggles in here. The first one is alerts and shortcuts automations, and the last one is suggestions and search. For some reason, this was turned off by default, but I guess I could turn it on, see what it does, and hope it doesn't drain my battery as much. Now the next thing is also inside our settings. If we were to go to our Apple ID right here, you're gonna see we have a brand new icon for sign-in and security. Here's what it looks like before. It looks a lot better than just a key there. And we got a couple of updates with screen time. As I predicted last Sunday, this is the beta that we've been waiting for regarding screen time. So if I were to turn this on right here, you're gonna see that the graph actually now shows up. It is a lot more smooth. You can actually scroll between them. And I hope this is the update that fixes all the issues with screen time. I think Apple's worked on this a lot since they acknowledged it publicly that they were aware it didn't work. And we'll probably get a fix for this in a 16.6.1. And now animates the scrolls, whereas before it did not even animate them. It looks like even though I had my screen time stuff off, it was still tracking it. So I guess that is new there. I'm not 100% sure on that. Quote me in the comments if I'm wrong. Inside of the Shortcuts app, if we were to create a brand new shortcut, you're gonna notice that we have some renamed actions in here. Toggle Cellular Plan is now renamed to Toggle Mobile Plan. And the next one is that we have a brand new mail icon right here. I'm not sure if we're gonna see this icon. It kind of looks ugly, to be honest. I don't really like this, but we could see this icon in the next beta for mail and Apple's just putting it here, or they will probably revert it back in the next beta. Now the next thing is that we have a brand new look for the notes widget inside of beta five. This is what it looks like now, and I'll have a screenshot of what it looked like before. We also have a brand new splash screen for Apple Music. This is what it looks like. And now the last change, I'm gonna say the best for last, has to do with side of name drop. So the first minor one is for iPads. We go to general and then airdrop. The start sharing by was on the iPad for some reason, but now it is now disabled on the iPad. And now along with that, for the iPhones, you get to see we got a brand new sound for name drop. Pretty cool and makes name drop feel a lot better. And I don't have a second iPhone to test with, but I hear that there are also new vibrations with name drop, which will be really nice to feel them while I name drop to friends. And yep, that is all I could find inside of beta five. If you're having issues like this, getting the update, what I did was keep trying press again, but hopefully by now Apple has resolved this issue. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.